In this video, revealing the seven work from home jobs that pay the big bucks and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, to remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. So one of the biggest reasons why I've always wanted to work from home was growing up, I would always see my mom and dad stressed for money. And because of that, whenever they were stressed, they would just work at their job for more money. But no matter how hard they worked, they never made ends meet, and plus they never had really time for me and my sister growing up. Which made me make sure that when I grew up, I did not wanna go ahead and live that life. To, for example, work just for work's sake, to work at a job just to make enough money so I could you know, pay the bills but still not having any time for my you know, kids or my future kids or whatnot, or my family, or to do the things that I love that I'm excited about. Which is why when I became of age of either choosing to work a career that you know is in a cubicle and have a stable nine to five job, I literally chose the ability to work from home instead because not only did it provide me more certainty, but I could actually create multiple streams of income that could allow me to not only live on one income, but to allow multiple streams to come in so that one could be like for investments, one could be for saving for my future, one could be you know, for you know, like property, and each one of these work from home buckets could actually fill a specific need. And I actually ended up creating a full blog post that isn't just going over seven, but 77 full ways to actually make money working from home, many of which allowed me to live a life where you could see that not only just work from home, but literally from anywhere in the world, right? And we taught this to like hundreds, if not thousands of people in like live events. If you want to know exactly how to join one of these events for free, just check it out in the free training below. But really, if you see really quickly, each one of these, if you click on any one of these, okay, any one of these is a full free training and a free guide to allow you to go ahead and make money working from home. And I wanna break down each one of those ways. So the first way to make money working from home and a good work from home job is uh, twofold. So you can see that it says start a blog, but I wanna break it down into actually two ways to make money starting a blog. You could either do it for yourself and make good money or you could do it as a service for other people. Now I wanna break down both ways because both ways are really lucrative when it comes to getting paid, for example, the big bucks, right? Like for example, you you could see from my blog, we do a good amount of income. You could see in just like the past four days, um, or in the past uh, four side hustles, like one of them, you know, helped us pull in this much. You know, you could see that we document all the other ways that we made money online, and you could see one we get deposited to our bank account with Google AdSense about 35 to 46k like a month, right? But the reason why I chose a blog. Uh, as one of the ways to best work from home is because you could literally go ahead and do this working from home. You know, like when you see stories of, for example, someone like this girl who just started off as just only her writing, you know, two articles a week on her blog in 2013 to now pulling in a hundred grand in a single month. Like you read that right, like in a single month and she doesn't have a big team. It's literally just her and her sister running this blog. And you can see that a lot of it is just recommending products that she did not have to create. It literally breaks your limiting belief on what you actually think it's possible for yourself. Same thing with, for example, these people right here, Creating Go. It's just like literally this guy and this girl that he met on Tinder, they're like, let's start a blog about business and health. And they pulled in $86,000 in a single month. Or this guy right here who literally was, uh, I think he was like a financial planner and he was trying to get clients. So he literally started a blog and he realized, wow, he actually didn't have to work with clients because he can make passive income working from home from his blog. When I started seeing this, it literally started shattering all limiting beliefs that I had for myself. And I was like, man, I really gotta go ahead and take advantage of this. That's why like, for example, this year, we are going all in on my blog. You could see like my blog is like right here and you could see like every couple of days we're publishing content that um, is teaching people how to make money from e-commerce or various different online business ideas just because of the potential that it is from there. Now you're probably wondering, well Mike, that's great, but I don't have the time or the experience to go ahead and do this. Well, don't worry, I got you because we have a free five day bootcamp teaching exactly how to do this. Um, now let's go over to the second way on exactly why blogging could actually be good in terms of you doing it for other people. Now here's the craziest thing, and this is something actually my sister did to go ahead and make money working from home. You know, she was, for example, going to college, she was going through the lines of like becoming a nurse,
nurse, and then she was like, you know what, I don't want to do nursing, I want to go ahead and work from home, right? And one of her first side hustles that allowed her to go ahead and do it, because she wasn't that tech savvy or whatever, was she would actually go and build websites for clients. And these clients were like the, the most boring clients ever, like chiropractors, dentists, just local businesses that had no idea how to go and increase their online branding, right? So she would literally go to like a website like Yelp.com and type in, for example, dentist. And she would just see which one of these dentists actually has an outdated website. He, she would literally go in here and see like the different websites that come up. Um, like for example, let's just do like Zen Dental Studios one or Rinse or William Schneider. She would literally go and click on um, the name, like for example on Yelp, and then just pull up his website just by going ahead and clicking on that link. And if the website was not that good or was not high quality, she would literally go and say, hey, you know, like I could go ahead and create a website for you. And many of these websites, uh, you know, are literally just built off of WordPress, which, you know, it takes like literally as fast as a couple hours to go ahead and make. I mean, she, she literally would go ahead and make a website for some of these people for like five or 10 hours and it'd be completely done, right? And the coolest thing about it is they pay her upfront. So it could be anywhere from 500 to $1,000. So just like that, she's essentially getting like 50 to $100 an hour for work for something that's super simple. And like I said, the free five day bootcamp in the link below will teach you exactly how to do this either for yourself or for other people. Now the other ways to make money working from home, one that I really enjoyed a lot, and this helped me make my first $100 a day profit online working from home and while also not having that much time was selling products on eBay. Because I thought that I was like, okay, I could work a traditional job, right? But when you make money working from home, there's so many different opportunities and so many different side hustles that you can go ahead and go into. Um, and many of them actually don't require any time or any money when you first get started. Like one of them that I realized was I could essentially sell products on eBay that I did not own or do not have to ship myself. Like here's one example of typical types of products that we would go out and sell. Look at this, this is going for $242 and it's 12, 12 have been sold, right? But the craziest thing is this exact same product exists on Walmart for $199. Do you notice something crazy? These are the exact same, like the exact same products, right? One is $242, the other one's $199. So what I would do is literally take the pictures from Walmart or from Amazon or from Wayfair.com um, and literally post them on eBay, right? And then I would wait because it would be free to post things on eBay. Then when I would make a sale, I would literally take the money that I got paid directly from eBay and then buy it from Walmart at a cheaper cost and then I would ship it directly to them with the customer information that I received from like eBay. Now if you really think about it, it's not that hard to really profit because it doesn't take that much time. You're literally just copying and pasting pictures from Walmart onto eBay. And you're probably wondering, Mike, how am I gonna go ahead and do this? I mean, we have this full guy right here. If you just click on that, but it's very simple. All you really gotta do is, I mean, we could just use this guy for example. We could go ahead and say, see other items. And you could just scroll down and see like what other products have been sold. So you could go over to sold listings and you could see that, I mean, he's getting multiple sales a day, right? So he's already profiting. He's selling bikes, he's selling furniture. He's even selling like huge playgrounds. None of these are products that he owns and he only buys them after he sells them. So it's virtually no risk to him. Look at this, 48 sold, $614. Let's actually find the product. It's very simple. You literally just go ahead into the description and then you go ahead and take, you know, all of these words right here. You can just plug it into Google. You can plug it into Google and it'll literally show you where he got it from because it used the same description. And like I said, it's from Walmart, except this is 499 bucks. Except here on eBay, you can see it's 614 bucks and he sold 48. So just like that, he made over like three grand with this one product and you could do this for free. So like I said, if you're trying to work from home, remember you don't have to trade your time for money. You could find, you know, interesting opportunities that you could go ahead and make money that way. And like I said, if you want a more in detailed one, you could go here. Another one that is really good is selling products on Amazon or becoming someone that serves clients to go ahead and do this. This is probably the fourth most lucrative way. Um, traditionally, what would happen, like for example, back in the day, I would literally buy products from China and then I would go ahead and sell them on Amazon, right? But the only downside with that working from home is if you don't have like a huge upfront capital like of a thousand to five grand readily available, it's not the best for people just getting started but doesn't mean that you can't take advantage of the opportunity. So what a lot of people are doing, they're just going to sites like, for example, Upwork, and just typing in Amazon, right? And the crazy thing about this is you could literally become an Amazon expert and get paid really, really well. 
Like if I scroll down, you can see that some of these Amazon experts that literally take the same things that you learn, for example, from this free training series right here, they go ahead and charge uh, 400K or uh, 70, $70 an hour. And look at this, 400K earned, right? Look at that, Amazon expert. I can literally go over into this and just type in Amazon expert. And you can see, like, look at this, $40 an hour, um, $10 an hour in like Pakistan, but like you can see in Costa Rica, look at this, $90 an hour, $45 an hour, $100 an hour, you know, $70 an hour. Um, some are lower, but like they're in like lower ended countries, right? You could see exactly how much people can actually get paid uh, in terms of like, for example, Amazon photography, right? Check this out. Amazon photographers make a lot of money. Look at this, Ukraine, $50 an hour. Uh, United States, $100, $100 an hour. Look at this, US, $130 an hour. Look at this, 100K plus earned. So you could see that if you could literally go and provide services for people that have Amazon businesses, that's a huge opportunity. And like I said, this literally shows you exactly how to do that. You could do the exact same thing for Shopify as well. You could either sell products on your own Shopify store Right, which is one of the ways that you know you could see uh, in one of my businesses we went from zero to five k in the first month and zero to one point six million in the first year. Right, uh, but you could see that every single time it grew, I had to hire people. Right, and some of those people were actually like got paid really well because they helped me scale my business. Does that make sense? Like when I literally did this, you got to understand that I'm not the smartest person in the world, so I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. But if I, you know, get lucky and find a winning product that sells online, I could use that money and hire smart people, right? And that smart people could literally be you working from home. And you can see exactly how big of a deal this is. I mean, this is, I guess, the fifth way because uh, number one, we broke it over into two ways, right? But you can see the fifth way is like huge because if I literally go over to, for example, Upwork, which is a place that you literally get clients for free. If I just type in the word Shopify, look at this, UK, $200 an hour, $60 an hour, $70 an hour, 7K earned, 7K earned, $100,000 earned. These people are getting paid ridiculous amounts of income to literally, you know, like express help in, for in, in terms of like Shopify. So you could see if you literally just study a bunch of Shopify stuff, you don't necessarily have to build your own business, which of course would take risk. You could get a stable stream of income working from home by just like applying this as a service. Does it make sense? Another one is starting a drop servicing business. This would be like the six way, right? And the drop servicing business is very interesting because you just essentially, you know, arbitrage the job to someone else. So for example, what you could essentially do um, is you could literally go ahead and for example, get clients on Yelp, right? Um, but did you know that you could actually get the clients to pay you upfront? So my sister would get paid anywhere from a 500 to $1,000, even $2,000 upfront. But then you could take that money and hire someone else for a cheaper cost to go ahead and do the work. Now it's super crazy because think about this, a lot of these people don't know how to use the online world. So they don't know exactly how to hire people that could do the job for them for cheap. Like you can literally go ahead and for example, type in something as simple as like website or let's just do like, for example, website. And you can see that some of these people like create website with like WordPress. So let's actually do WordPress because that's exactly where you go ahead and for example, start your website. You can literally go ahead, come into the location, type in Philippines, and you could see that you could hire people for literally like, you know, less than, you know, $10 an hour, $18 an hour. If you're essentially getting paid 50 to $100 an hour, like what my sister was doing with the skill, with the things that we're, we essentially teach you in the free five day bootcamp in the link below, you could hire someone else out there to go ahead and do it for you for $5 to $10 an hour. Just look for someone with like 100% job success, like this person right here, as well as like top rated. You could see that this person would be able to go ahead and create a website for you within as literally as, like in the next couple of hours, right? So you literally take the money that you made, say you spend like, you get a thousand bucks. You can spend anywhere from 100 to $500 to get someone else to create the website for you, but you profit all the difference. And even if you're not smart and you don't have any tech skills whatsoever, it's fine, because you already got paid up front and you could hire these people up front with the money that you got paid that's not yours. Does it make sense? So that's like a huge business model. As well as the seventh thing that we could go ahead and choose, I mean, you could look at any one of these, any one of these ways are a really good way to go ahead and make money in terms of um, you know working from home. But one of the biggest ways that we could see, because like I said, if you click on any one of these, you'll be able to go ahead and for example, get started with a way to work from home. 
would literally be to go ahead and even like watch something as simple as like YouTube videos, right? Um, especially not just YouTube videos, but YouTube ads. Now YouTube ads is a huge business because you know, we run YouTube ads, there's a lot of businesses that run YouTube ads, but did you know that you can either run the ads for them in terms of a business or you could actually get someone else to run the ads for them? And you can see how big this is. Like if I go ahead and for example, uh, remove all of these searches and just type in something like Google ads, you can see exactly how much these people are getting paid with like Google. Actually, let's go even closer to YouTube ads, right? You can see that some of these people are getting paid $35 an hour, um, you know, $47 an hour, $70 an hour. And it's a lot of skills you could actually learn from free at skillshop.withgoogle.com. They will actually teach you how to run Google ads, which essentially is YouTube ads for free. You can see that you can get Google Ads certified and instead of you spending money on an expensive education, you can literally go ahead and learn directly from Google with their full blown tutorial on how to actually get certified with Google, guys. But if, like I said, if you wanna get a complete list of all of these, I'll just put them in the links below. As well as check out my podcast of all these really successful people that make a bunch of money online that live here in Bali. Like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars from a profit. Check it out right here. Hope this helps. Love you guys, see you guys later. Woo!